Thank you.
pretty little thing, you know you fine if I make
gotta keep my baby a baby or be my baby's baby Cause everybody's a baby in the Lord's eyes I'll take you to school, show the ABCs of love Now you ain't kind of fast, passing them flying colors Stress free, soft life, seven star, short life Make it see so how many babies you say
evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Some people can say hello. Wave your hands. Are you happy to be here? For G what? For G4. So we have the guys on this side. I'm sure you're wondering. There's no segregation. Don't worry. They will mix very soon. Some guys have gone to sit in between ladies. Why now? Can we move the guys? Just move here, move here. Are we together? If you are outside, we're starting. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. Oh, jeez. Did you go to nursery school? How, how do we do it? If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. All right. If you're happy and you know it, say love. Oh, that's not with an attitude. That's love, love, love. If you're happy and you know it, say love. Say love. I like the people on this side. They are getting it. The people on this side are quiet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, say love. All right, we've been outside for a few minutes. It's been a wonderful time. Wow. Maybe, maybe, maybe the ladies on that side, you should have just moved them here, though, <laughs> rather than seizing them on top there. Anyway, one of the things you must realize is that this will not be your permanent seats today. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Your seats, I mean, your seats are going to be changing. Uh-huh, thank you. Your seats are going to be what? Changing. Levels are going to change. All right, we'll just wait two more minutes for those coming in, for them to come in. Have we done this well? Because I want the whole ground floor filled. If we have guys here, let them move here so we can have... Maybe ladies on the other side too, isn't it? Uh-huh. So, excuse me, ladies. The ladies sitting on top there, can you please just come and move to this side of the hall? Yeah. There. From there. Let them move to that side of the hall so we can feel the ground. Thank you so much. Let's, let's make it snappy. The guys will sit here. The guys will sit here. Then we can move the guys maybe like that. Thank you. Ladies, please help us now. Don't, don't go to that angle. Uh, that angle is a desert. Uh, desert, desert, desert. Yeah. This way, this way, this way. Let's, let's make it snappy. You know it's not your permanent seat. So the earlier you move, the better. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, my ladies. Oh, my ladies, thank you. Somebody is laughing. All right, let's, 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 let's make it snappy. Don't worry, you'll get new seats. You'll get new seats. All righty, I'm liking this. I can see beautiful faces. I can see handsome faces here. As I, I can see some real cool gentlemen here this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's all right so that we can welcome the senior pastor of the Fountain of Life Church and the associate senior pastor of the Fountain of Life Church. 
Pastor Jimmy Odukoya and Pastor Tolu Odukoya. Wow, 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 wow. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Wow. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, I can see what's happening. Pastor Jimmy is with the guys. Hey, Pastor Tolu is with the ladies. All righty. It's going to be a beautiful evening this evening. And there's a whole lot packed. I want you to fasten your seatbelt. It's going to be an amazing time in God's presence. You've never, ever, ever, ever had anything like this. It's going to be fun-filled. And you're going to, you know, it's a journey we're about to experience. All right. So let's rise up on our feet as we start. Let's rise up on our feet. Let's rise up on our feet. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we worship you. Pastor Bisoe, please give us, a, come and give us an opening prayer. Come and give us, let's appreciate Pastor Bisoe. Uh, is that how to appreciate someone? Amen. Let's just celebrate this initiative. Let's celebrate Pastor Jimmy and Pastor Solo for this. Amazing. And now let's celebrate God. Now, if you are single, celebrate yourself. And lastly, we celebrate the person you are about to meet. So in advance, celebrate the person. Amen. Okay, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for this beautiful event. We know that you are here in our midst. We ask that you direct every single word that will be spoken, every game we ask that you direct and that your presence will be made manifest in today's service in the name of Jesus. We pray that as we have come into today's service, you will meet each and every one of us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus. And you will even go beyond that which we are asking to give us that which you have ordained for us from today's service in the name of Jesus. That by the time we leave this service, it will be testimonies one upon the heel of the other in the name of Jesus. No single in this house will pick wrongly. We pray that we will hear God clearly. We will select excellently and our marriages will be heaven on earth in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we declare this event open in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Bisoe. We will select properly. Hallelujah. Somebody do your finger like this. Do your finger like this. We are, you will select properly. Hallelujah. Okay, so let's, let's be seated. We're going to have praise, praise worship this evening, but we're going to do it differently. Um, and we're going to get, we're going to get some guys come up and lead praise worship. We've not chosen them. So we will see who will win. We're going to see the ladies come and lead praise worship. We will see who will win. So, if you're a guy, you know you can sing and lead praise worship. I need like 12 of you. Now, 12. Let's come, recruit. Quickly. Let's recruit. If 12, you know 12, 12. That you are a man Pastor and you Tolu, can do oh yeah, well. Help us. If you're a lady, you can uh -huh. sing. We need like if 12. If you are a guy 12 and you can you. sing well. Lead singer it's a competition. and back up Praise and worship. Singer. How, many, how many do we need? 12, 12. 12, 12. 12, 12. 12, 12. Just 12. come and meet me here. Let's, let's. 12, 12. No, singers, women, singers. Women. If I don't call you, don't Singers. come out. Uh -huh. yeah. Wait, I let's, let's calculate. Guys. No, no. I now, come. 12, now. 12. Don't worry, I will call not you. Not that you are believing God to One, sing. One, two, good. three. You are not coming out by faith. Four. You can sing well. You can sing. You, well. can, you can lead praise worship don't well. Don't shame me. Oh. You know it's a, it's a competition. You lead praise and worship. Let me, let me off my mic. There are ladies over there. Ah, let me, I will pick six for me and I will come six from there. Ladies, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm, so I've picked one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Two more. All right. Lady in the pink. Where's our DJ? Where's our DJ? Lady in the white. Please be playing. Why? Six for me. Let me go. Why they there. are choosing? Why they are choosing? Choosing. Okay, come. I need to go to the other side. I'm coming. This thing is not by fate, oh. 
It's not by faith, though. Where are the mics? Thank God, God, no be man. I say for red. The remaining people, you can stand up and dance. Orange. Thank God, 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 no be man. Don't worry. Orange. for red. Two minutes more. Two minutes more. Two minutes more. Alright. I think I Praise worship. Oh God. Hallelujah, oh Jare. Pick yes, sir. How are we going to do? Are they all going to sing? Once? No, they will choose their maybe two leaders for the praise worship, then the others will be back up. I say for I mean everywhere for twelve. Maybe there will be two leaders and backup singers. Backup singers. Twelve. Moses, Mike, bring the mic. Six, six minutes. Six minutes each. No, for the singers. All right. Are we done? Okay, now. Heads or tail? All right. We're done, no? Time up, time up, time up, time up. Bring it down, bring it down. Okay. Um, ladies, heads or tail? Heads or tail? Uh, heads or tail? This is head, this is tail. So, the women have chosen heads. So, this is head. That's tail. Head, you are starting first. Praise Pastor Jimmy, if you break, worship. you will buy me 15. <laughs> Please give them the mic. All right. One lead mic, they will pass it. Who are our judges? And the backups. The leads are there, they know themselves. No. How can we make you judges? No. 
They, no, they can't, don't worry, we'll, they, by themselves, they will know. Ah! All right. Pastor Solo, what's up? You're proud of you. Pastor Solo, what's up? Okay. Four, three, two, right. one, go. Ah, ah, sir. Hey, Let's we go. We have time. We have more time. So That's the passing mic. What's the first one, sir? Arrange yourself, women. Timer, six minutes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One, two, three, go. Hey, yeah. Women, you're looking at me. Women, stand up. Hallelujah. Hey. Men, praise the Lord with us. So. Lift your hands. Us.
the most beautiful amongst thousands. Come on, lift your hands and thousands. My beloved is the most.
shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, take it off. All right, let's do it this way. All right, this way. You dance it this way. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrow, now she away. I got my parallelity. I got my parallelity. Because of this, I'm serving the Lord. I got a double, double, double blessing. I ain't got a reason. of the Lord. Yes. Yes, we are. In the house of the Lord, uh -huh. we do not tell lies. Yes. Mm -hmm. The men tried, didn't they? Yes. I mean, they look for different keys, but... Oh, walk. We found the key H. They, they kept um, key H. <laughs> we'll find key, yeah, you know? But the women came with anointing <laughs> and with power and precision. 
that we set the atmosphere, that it made it so easy for the men to connect. Can I get a hallelujah? Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, sorry, Thank sir. you, sir. Hallelujah. You know, last I checked, the prerequisite for singing in the Bible is not about keys. <laughs> <laughs> Last I checked, he said, make a joyful noise unto, unto the, the Lord. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so, whether the key was A or H, was the noise joyful? <laughs> let's start there first. Let's, 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 let's start there first. As the presiding judge, it was a draw. <laughs> let's celebrate each other. Let's celebrate each other. That was a lot of fun. By the way, you can be seated. By the way, if you don't know, the Singles Fellowship um, is a mixture of people from various churches um, that come together every Monday to learn how to live a maximized single life and how to prepare for a marriage that is heaven on earth. I'm glad to say that I have been part of this fellowship for the last 26 years. Hallelujah. Uh, my life has been blessed. God has given me a beautiful wife. Can you see her now? Can you stand up for recognition? Yeah. You know? So, we meet every Monday, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. You don't want to miss it. And we have, for instance, these guys who sang, we have a choir from different churches so you can join. Hallelujah. It's going to be wonderful. I hope you've met somebody sitting next to you this evening. How was the cocktail? I'm sure you all had a good time meeting each other. Uh, uh, anyway, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to we have a duet. Um, it's going to be taken by Victoria and Isaac. Please come forward and take that quickly. Hi. Good evening, everyone. You're not saying good evening like you mean it. Good evening, everyone. So this is a love song to Jesus. If you know the song, please join us. It's real simple.
together for them. Victoria and Isaac. Some of you clap now. You know, that to sing is not easy. Alright. So, what's the title of this program? Say it like you believe it. Say like you mean it. And what does G4 mean? So guys, girls, guys, games, and God. You know, the Bible says a threefold cord is not easily broken. So where, where we have guys, girls, games, we bind it with God. And you can imagine what would happen. Now, we're going to have a game now. Um, can I have the balls, the beach balls? Where are they? Okay, that. Great. Yes, now. Uh -huh. So, you are going to be passing this thing. Where's, the, where's my DJ? All right. If he stops with you, uh -huh. you are going to come out. So you can pass this side, you can pass to the back, you can, you know, okay. Uh -huh. Wait, yeah, they don't start yet. Some people are taking that thing fast. You don't know whether the winner will get iPhone 15 plus. Uh -huh. Wait now. So. Mm. So, then, guys, take so wherever it stops, hmm. girls, don't worry. No, you can pass it, pass it, pass it, whichever way. My DJ, start. Okay, be passing it. Throw it, you can throw it, you can throw it. You can throw it. You can throw it to the back. Uh -huh. Throw it, throw it back, throw it through the front. Don't throw it away. Who has the ball? Who has the ball? Who has the ball? Come, 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 come. 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 If you have the ball, come, come, come. Come now. Uh, it's a lady. It can't be a lady on this side, though. Okay, start again. Start again. Pass it, throw it, throw it. 
Guys, for guys, for guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, come. One. Where is this for the girl there? Just come, just come, just come. Come, come. Where is it for the girl? All right, continue, continue. The girls come out. All right. DJ, continue. No. Let the lady come out. Come out, come out. Keep throwing the ball. All right. All right. Stop. All right. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Quickly. If you have the ball, if you've had the ball, come forward. DJ, start again. It's gone. Keep throwing the ball. Keep throwing the ball. Another one. All right. Co-busy. All right. Where's the, where are the balls? Oh, yeah, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out. Quickly, quickly. Quickly. Time is of the essence, guys. All right. Keep throwing the balls. Music. When the strings are born. All right. Keep throwing it. I need the balls with the guys. I will show you how strong, I will show you how strong Cause the way you fall, you fall, you fall So I don't listen to the noise, I don't listen to Stop. the noise Stop! Stop! Alright Okay We need, we need for the men, we need the ball here Yeah, just concentrate on, we have four ladies So we need more men more, more men now. We have four ladies. All right, go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you one of the best choirs in the city of Lagos, Nigeria. So we need one more lady and Come four on men. On. One more lady and four men. All right, guy, come out. Who has the ball? Fantastic, come on. All right, out. throw it. Throw it again. All right. Go ahead. Where's the other one? All right. Okay, come out. All Ladies right. at the back, why are you throwing the ball like it's a play? All right, continue, continue. Good thing, good thing. It's your girl, Kathy. All right, where are the balls? Who has the ball there? Stand up, sir. With the ball here, come. All right. Oh, wait, we have, how many do we have? How many one, guys two. We have, we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we have five girls. Well, five men. And five, and five girls. Can I have a chair, please? Yeah, where's the chair? Usher's chair. Some of you are wondering what's happening. All right, let's throw three more. All right. Uh, the ball didn't even get there. You guys were throwing the ball like it was a plague. Should we do one more for upstairs? One more guy, one more. DJ, what's your say? I 
didn't say DJ. DJ, I didn't say DJ. I said PJ. <laughs> PJ, should we throw for one more? You know what we'll do? The next game, we'll start. We'll pick. Start in this area first. Okay. So let's just. So pick. I'll pick a girl. You pick a guy. Okay. Ma'am, please come. Sir, yes, please you. Come. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Fantastic. Please come down. Please come, sir. You got a guy? Yeah. I got a girl. Are we, are we starting ladies first or? Always ladies, ladies first. first. Ladies first. <laughs> okay. Let's put the ladies. Can we have the ladies stand on this side, please? And the guys just stay on this side. Fantastic. No, no, sir. You stay with me. Great. That's, that's my... Can we get the blindfold, please? Can you, can you stop, please? Thank you. Eh? They just put it like we use it. We manage it. Then we'll just turn them to the side. There's no point. There's no point. Then nah. Yes, you okay, can walk. It can work. Ma'am, could you just close your eyes, please? Fantastic. All right, I'm going to put this around your ears if you can help this me. This guy, all. Oh. Oh. Can someone help me, please? Put it around her ears. Can ear. we double it? Can you see me? Can you put it around her ears, Tell please? Tell the truth. Sorry, oh. It's okay. Fantastic. Boju, boju. <laughs> all right. Can we put them on the... Stage. Do we want them here or on this level? This, level? this level. This level. Let's put. So we'll put the guy over here and the girl over here. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm all leading you <laughs> up. Yes. So you know, come like this. Come like this. Yes. Wait. 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 Then climb it. Uh -huh. It's like you're seeing. Fantastic. Seeing it. It's like you can see. Okay. Sit down. Right here. No, no. Sit right here. Yeah. You know what, um, ma'am? Let's turn them this way. You turn around. Uh -huh. So yeah. we stand up. Sorry. Yeah, just thank you. Just come sit down. So All sit. right. Fantastic. There you go. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Are you comfortable? Can we have the mics, please? Are you comfortable? What's your name? Richard. Richard. Can we call you Richie for today? Richie. What's your name? Ada. Ada. Okay. What is it? I got rich. What? Tell me, what is it? Ada rich or rich Ada? <laughs> hey, now wow. Anyway, are you are you tagging us on your social media handles? Tag us. Tag us. Be taking the pictures and tag us. What's the hashtag again? TFOLC Singles 24. Yes. TFOLC Singles 24. Now, this is what we're doing. This guy is, this guy is here. Richie is here. Ada is here. So, you guys, she's not, she doesn't know who is talking. You are going to toast her. In three different ways. Three different ways. Are you here? You are going to toast her normally. Each person has about 30, 40 seconds. Toast her normally. Toast her with scripture. Then sing to her. Are you here? Uh -huh. So she will choose at the end of the day. This is number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five. Ada, you will choose number one, two, three, or four or five. The same thing will happen here. You will say something in, in the... Richard. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Ah, some people are doing Google, oh. What is it, Pastor? Pastor, what? Why are you on the phone? Am I with you? <laughs> okay. Let's let's go. Don't say your 30 name. Thirty seconds. Each person has thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Oh yeah. 
So please put 30 seconds on the timer All right. up there. One, one each. One, one each. This so side we'll first, you, this yeah, side next. Yeah. All right. So regular bands. All right, go ahead. Regular, regular toasting. Stuff. Don't go, don't, don't go. go, just stay there. Just stand there. Put 30 seconds on the board, please. Hi. Hello, good evening. Shh. Hello, good evening. Ada, you're not responding to me. <laughs> just continue. Okay. How are you? And hope you're fine. Okay, I, I saw you and... Wait now, help him, help him, help a brother. Relax, shh. Ada, we not here. Okay, Ada, I, I saw time you. Time up, time up. Yes. Time up. Go ahead. 30 seconds on the, on the board, please. Reset right. it. 30 seconds, reset it, quick, quick, quick. Ma'am, wait, wait. Don't start till she starts to speak. Reset it, please. Once she starts to speak, you can count down. Hi, Richard. How are you? You know, the Bible says that you need a friend of your life, and I'm very sure that... Increase their mics, please. Okay, the Bible says that either finds a wife, finds a good thing. And I'm very sure that by the time you come into my life, we will make, we will take the kingdom with us. We will make beautiful kids. And as sing, if your sing. name implies Richard, I would like to call you Richie, because you make my house full of riches. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey. 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 Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Hi, Ada. You are so beautiful to me. Like the woman I have. You are too handsome. You are apple of my heart. Please. Can you put me into your heart? Uh, you are too loved, you are too beautiful. I want to have you at a stone of my heart. Sing, I... sing to her now. Time up, okay. Next mercy, pass the mic. Oh yeah, start. Hi Richard. <laughs> You look handsome. Hi. <laughs> ah. ah. Sing to him. Come on. All right. Let's start. <laughs> Go ahead. Hi, Ada. Uh, it's nice meeting you and um, seeing you in person, your presence alone. Uh, the euphoria of your presence is compelling. And I must tell you that um, being, uh, seeing you alone, your presence, you, you, you carry a great aura. And um, I would love to make you my angel if you don't mind. And you'll be the, the princess in my kingdom. Uh, princess in your kingdom. In your kingdom. Hey, okay. Shh. Hello, Richie. Hi, Richie. Um, so, okay, so, uh, you know, in the Bible, God said he's going to supply my needs according to his riches in glory. And, uh, And, uh, you know, um, so, I mean, something, something strange uh, is happening, has been happening to, uh, to me recently. Like, I've been reading my Genesis, Exodus, and the only thing is I can't seem to find your number, you know? Ah. I have been reading Genesis and Exodus. I can't seem to find your, your number. number. Ah. Hey. 
right, all right, all right. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Hi, Yada. How are you? It's nice meeting you. You know, your look alone look captivating. When I see you, you know, my heart, from the bottom of my heart, I like you, I like your beauty, you know, and I want to keep you as my wife. You know, if you say yes to me, I will do all it takes, you know, to keep you and to take good care of you. Please don't say no to me. Say yes. And for the rest of our lives, we'll be together happily forever and ever and ever. Thank you. Hey, hey. All right. Go ahead. Hello, Riri. Such a slim bullet. Oh my God. I can't wait to have you in my life. You know, according to the Bible in the book of Sons of Solomon, once you come into my life, I am going to breastfeed you. Be my first baby. Ah, wait, oh. Wait! 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 I didn't wait! Wait! Did, what, what she said? If you come. It's in the book of Solomon. Solomon. Hey. In marriage. That's all we will say. You shall in be, marriage. In, in marriage. In marriage is in the book of Sons of In marriage. In marriage, sir. All right. Who's next? All right. Go ahead. Hello, Ada. Wait, yes. But All right. Go ahead. Hello, Ada. Shh, shh, shh. I think I have to call you Adugo because you carry the elegance of an ego. Standing here, I've been looking for the perfect definition, but chat GPT can't even define you. Ada? So at this moment, I think I have to delete my Google search because I found you. And what makes you happy? I'll provide it today, tomorrow, and always. Just to make sure. Time up, time up. Who's here? Is it her? Oh, yeah. Hi, Richie. The Bible says, who finds a wife findeth a good thing? I believe you have found the wife in me, and I promise to be your helpmate. As your name implies, Richie, we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And I also know that with me, you will be in good health and you will prosper. Okay. One more here. All right. Okay, finish, finish. Go, go ahead, whatever you want to do. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So, yeah, sub this one, substitute. Oh, wait first, wait first. All right. So, Ada, with all you have heard, hmm? they didn't sing, but... Hmm. All right. Last one, 15 seconds each, you will sink. Each. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Start. That's the mic. Oh, yeah. Sing for her. I really love you, and that's true. There is nothing I cannot do for you. I found it hard to say. I wish you knew I am on your Instagram page. My baby loves me. Hallelujah. Oh, he really loves me. Hallelujah. The way you love me. Hallelujah. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, sing for him, sing for him. You are my African king. <laughs> One of my dreams. You take me where I'll never be. You make my heart sing a You are my African king. 
we can praise the world of my dreams. You take me where I've never been. You make my heart sing a linger. Okay, now, at that time. Adam, you and I will leave us one. <laughs> you and I will leave us one. participated here did you have fun with that so you know what to do so Ada is he Adugo he's not Adu it's a daisy Adugo is daughter of an ego Abe uh -huh. so out of all the songs and the raps you heard which one did you like the most All right, wait now. Who said princess to my kingdom? Who says uh, princess to my kingdom? You said it. Then he says, I would like to call you Adaogo. Adugo. 
you are the one that says, I do go. Okay, both of you come forward. Princess, this princess to my kingdom. Yeah, both of you. I appreciate the other three. I appreciate them. I appreciate them. Richie! Richie! Okay, which one did you like? Which song and which... Um... I love all the songs. Oh, <laughs> see this one. Is there all the songs? <laughs> Choose okay. one! Which one? In the toasting, which one? In the toasting, which one did you like? Like maybe the first or the second person. Uh -huh. What did the person say? I can't, I can't remember. Oh! <laughs> It's like Richard Carey is his girlfriend. Richard, do you have girlfriend? Your girlfriend here. Yeah. Okay. About your. Okay. Okay, girlfriend, where are you? Girlfriend, where are you? Come, come, come. Girlfriend. Come, girlfriend. Come now. Girlfriend, come. Come now. I will come and get you. Girlfriend. Come, come, come. I will come and get you. I see with the phone. Richard is a sharp guy. Girlfriend, come now. Girlfriend, come now. Girlfriend, where are you? We should have known. Mm. Somebody should replace him. Mm. This one is play, play. Oh, oh. are you denying girlfriend? him? You are still in the same face. Girlfriend, just get, girlfriend, oh, girlfriend, girlfriend, is girlfriend, girlfriend, ah. girlfriend is here. Girlfriend, girlfriend. So, so I, is this Richie? Is this her voice? Yes. <laughs> Say something. Let go. Is this her voice? Babe. Say something to him. Babe. Huh? Is, that, is that her voice? Yeah, that is her voice. That's her voice. Are you sure? Oh yeah. Say something. Yeah, yeah, Say yeah. something. Yeah. Say something. Yeah. Babe. That's the voice. So, so All right. we have to, we have to replace noise. we have to replace Richard. Okay. But so, how will we do it? No, 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 time. wait, wait, wait. What's going to happen is that girlfriend, he has given you permission. Have you given him permission? Yes. Say it in the mic. What's your name? Magdalene. Magdalene has given you permission. Okay, so which which toasting do you choose? The second one. The second one. Yeah. Uh -huh. You are the second one. Because she didn't say anything. So she said the second one. So, so, so you know what? As he has chosen. Hold we have to substitute. We need a single guy. Ah. Yes, because I know time has gone. But we have to, because Richard is already spoken for. Um. Men, if you are single, put your hand up. If you are single and you want to take Richard's... But they've seen all the ladies. They've heard everything. They've heard everything. They can't pick. They can't pick spirits. objectively. They will speak from Don't the flesh. Don't worry, we'll do spirit of substitution. So Richard picked number two. This who's, who's, yeah. That's not, yeah. We can let the rest go, right? No. Yes. Did you pick a song? The rest can. <laughs> Richard cannot the talk. His now. girlfriend did not give him permission. Is that the second person? The rest of you can sit down. Thank you. So now we have. Second I'm sorry. Person. One, just one person. Yeah, just one person. No, two. And two. because she chose two, <laughs> he picked one. So, how do we... Let them dance now. <laughs> oh, sir, as she has, spoke, she has picked the two, you know what we'll do? What, sir? Please remove your blindfold. Please come. It's easy to talk when they're not looking at you in your eye. Please open your eye. Okay. All right, your last... Now, she has to pick between the both of you. Uh -huh. Now, look into her eyes. Make your case. Please bring the camera around so we can get proper view. This uncle is a hair. Come and catch. Please come and stand. 
Right here. Yes. Oh, yeah. Make your case. 10, 20, how many seconds, sir? 15 10, 10, seconds. 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. Stand right there. <laughs> you should have told us, yeah. All right, make your case. Make, make your case. Shh. Yes. Let's wrap it up. All right, uh, having you here this evening, uh, I'm, I'm so elated and, um, you know, Bible speaking, as he said, you, you will find his, a wife as found a good thing and obtain a favor from the Lord. And seeing you here in God's presence, uh, you epitomize a proverb 31 woman. And um, as Pastor J, as I, I rightly said yesterday, he said, uh, Bible speaking, he said, he said, beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord is highly uh, esteemed. So, not just your beauty in person, but I appreciate your intellect. I appreciate your person and your personality. Thank you. Okay. Go on. Adeze. Daughter of a king. Come with me. Let's do the kingdom where you be the queen. Ada. Ada, Ada, if I get you, honestly, I'll call you, please. It's not because it's easy, but I know you will give me peace. Honestly, this evening, I'm going to sleep at peace. Because your face right yes, like a pearl that I can't take my whole eyes off. Hmm? Yes. Ada. You look so pretty, and I must say the truth, you are the type of thing I want to behold. All right. Okay, now. I daisy. Choose your choice. <laughs> Speaking to the mic. This is a very hard one for me. one for me, but I think I prefer him. He's very calm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name, Oga? He has mic in his hand. Emmanuel. God with us. <laughs> God with us. <laughs> so, sir, as he was substituted and she was toasting Richard, what's your name, sir? I did for Larry. So, now that you convince her why, why toast her. Okay. What's Let's see if she agrees for you. Shh. What's your name? Christiana. Um, Christiana, I would confess. Shh. Wait now. Uh -uh. What? Yes, you know. Wait, oh. He said you should stand up. He doesn't want to stand up. Leave him alone. Relax. Speak louder. All right. Time. 30 seconds. All right. So, Christiana, I'm not going to lie to you. I saw you walking down to the altar, and I'm not going to lie, you became my center of attraction immediately. Not just that, seeing you makes me feel so amorous. And I'll ask you this question briefly. Do you love yourself? Yes, I Since do. you love yourself, let us love the same person. <laughs> Born again? Are you a born again Christian? And, and ma'am, ma'am, yes. sorry, sorry, wait, 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 just check. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, well, did you enter? Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. So, sir, the gifts for the both of them, dinner for two. Yeah. So, dinner for two on us. You go out, get to know each other. Let's see if there's anything there. Amen. Please, exchange, if you are exchange number, if you are smart, you know, let's keep the conversation going. You can check on her when she gets home. All right, ladies and ah, now well, you see there here. Ah, let's put our hands together for everyone. Did you have fun with that? It's easy. You understand? You know, and there's so many lines you can use. Your father must be a thief. He stole all the stars and put them in your eyes. Your legs must be tired. You've been running through my mind all day. Ah, some brothers are already putting things down. Eh? They are putting things down. Baby, you, you look just like water. Except Jesus turned you into fine. <laughs> Do you love yourself? That one. He said, yes. Then let's love the same person. Is that, is that, ah, Jesus. That, 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 is, is, is hard. They'll just be giving each other raps. He's the one that said, I've been reading my Bible, Genesis, Exodus. I can't find your number. Ah, ah. Is your name Faith. Is your name faith? Yes, you are the substance I've been, hope, I've, I've been hoping for. Hallelujah. There are raps in the Bible. You just need to know. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to welcome somebody special here. Uh, he's a Nigerian music artist who fuses Afrobeats, R&B, hip-hop to make a distinctive blend of Jesus music and love songs. He's a two-time uh, AMVCA nominee for his songs on Nollywood uh, blockbusters. Oba Ram and Domitila he has millions of streams on his music platforms and collaborations with award-winning artists such as Buki, Snatcher of Rooftop, MT, uh, Rooftop MCs, T.Y. Belo, YJ, The Caveman, and more. And now he's ready to ser serenade you with love songs from his latest trending album, Make welcome, Angelo! Thank you so much. Um, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much, Pastor Jimmy. Thank you so much, Pastor Tolu. Thank you so much, the entire pastorate and board of the church. It's so good to be here. My name is Angelo. I make Jesus music and love songs. Now, there's a guy I like in the Bible so much. His name is Jacob. He loved the girl so much, he was willing to work double time to pay her bride price. So it's a song I'm going to sing now. It's titled Sugar. And there's a line in the song that says, Call me Jacob, I ready to pay bride price two times. Yeah, I'm sugar, baby. Yeah, man, my love. Give me sugar, baby. Give me honey, why don't you take me to daddy? If you know the song, sing it with me. Show me your mommy. I have people in the house. Let's go, DJ. Can you give me the most volume I can get? Listen. I know fit to lie. I know say I have I see you down right. 
and I know fit deny. I go like me father finish me, I take you home tonight. Ay, 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 oh baby, you try. I got a guy now, so what I plenty for my eyes. As I did, so I know even mine. Call me Jacob, I let me to be right, right, so. Sugar, baby, give my name, oh my love. Give me sugar, baby. Give me honey, why don't you take me to daddy? Are you ready? Baby, oh, you're getting the form. I'm a little bit there. Come, Lacha. Don't want to just see your chick. Lacha, Lacha. If I'm a Cassilos, you tell me, come here. Oh, you're getting the form. I'm a little bit there. Come, Lacha. Don't want to just see your chick. Lacha, Lacha. If I'm a Cassilos, you tell me, come here. I don't want to look by email. Cause I'm a fine visit different to you. Baby, your love is a magnet to you. If I don't love you, I'm not next to you. Who wants plenty for my body whenever I'm there with you, baby? I'm on top of the food, we live right in the room. What do you Thank you so much. Now, I see, uh, don't worry, sir, don't be in a hurry. You will dance now. Something good is coming your way. Something good is coming your way. Something good is coming your way. Something good is for every day and every night. Where you day by my side. Something good is coming your way. Everybody. Let's go. Please give me the most volume I can get in the house. Now, if you're here, my senior man with the wrist, I see you. Now is a good time to dance with her. Oh, my, my baby. You're the woman beyond my dreams. It surprised me, say you exist. If them tell me, I know for belief. You're the woman beyond my dreams. And you'll be right there, you'll be right there. You'll be right with me, with me. To the valley and the seven seas. And even when my money don't plenty, you stay, you stay with me. Oh, my baby. Everywhere south, everything green. Let me give you all you deserve and need. Wanna let you know that something good is coming your way. Something good is coming your way. Something good is coming your way. For every day and every night, where you day by my side. Something good is coming your way. Mr. DJ. Now, so that I don't take too much time. How many people here have suffered being in the friend zone? You like her. But she doesn't want to date you because it will spoil the friendship we have. If you're yet identified, we're plenty. We've been there. <laughs> All right. So there's a song. It's titled God When. And I'm going to do that now. Just have fun. I will call it a dance for myself. Are we ready? I don't know why you're still sitting down. We don't sit down on songs like this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, sit. I want you to know 
I've been here one for you Want you to know See me, I got plans for you I want you to know I've been here one for you But it's your friends on TV Very simple That's just so my brother My bestie Now you need to talk to God when That's just so my brother My bestie Now you need to talk to God when That's just so my brother My bestie Now you need to talk to God when That's just so my brother My bestie Listen. Now love I love I no keep pressing. No keep pressing right I dey give my best, but she no see pressing. No see pressing right I dey see me see why hello. This girl my daddy tired. I tell her my love and she say thank you. I tell her my love and she say thank you. I want you to know. I be the one for you. Want you to know. See me I get plans for you. I want you to know. I be the one for you, but it's your friends on TV they do you go so cast you. I so so my brother, my bestie. Now you dey talk to God when I so so my brother, my bestie. Now you dey talk to God when I so so my brother, my bestie. Now you dey talk to God when I so so my brother. Let me write for him. See, I follow your wishes like you want to me. I get your side, I'll be you not see me. Ask for your hand, I see you not give me. If you got talk, you know I'm giddy. Look, 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 baby. Me, I love you, no be say I'm a moo, baby. You can't even be the talk about your other baby. I'll be the talk about me, I don't be lady. I'm not your bestie. I want you to know. I'll be the one for you. Want you to know. See me, I got plans for you. I want you to know. I be the one for you. But this your friends don't tell you they do you go so cast. I so so my brother. My bestie. Now you dey talk to God when I so so my brother. My bestie. Now you dey talk to God when I so so my brother. My bestie. Now you dey talk to God when I so so my brother. Everybody in the house. Now you dey talk to God when I so so my brother. My bestie. Now you dey talk to God when I so so my brother. My bestie. Now you dey talk to God when I so so. My bestie, now you dey talk to God when I so so. Thank you very much for having me. Love you. you all right, all right. Let's give it up for Angelo. Wow, are you having fun? Just before we go on to the next thing, I have a few things for you. If you have glow, I'm going to call out credits right now. But I'm going to call you from the back. <laughs> All right. No, I won't call you from the back. So if you have glow, listen attentively. Four six three five 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 three three eight five one five zero nine one. If you got it, let me know you you did. Great. MTN one eight two four four two five three three seven no three two seven four eight nine six six one. If you got it, let me know. Etel five seven nine nine six six eight zero. Eight seven eight three two four nine four. Let me go if you got it. Nine mobile eight zero zero eight six six three two three five nine five two seven three. Did we all get it? Okay, somebody got it. It seems that it's happening up there. So Ladies and gentlemen, are you having fun this evening? Oh, we're about to take it to another level. You know, I told you, you may not have a permanent seat here today. You understand? So, when we finish this game, wherever this game meets you, that's where you will sit. Hey, hey. So, it's a speed dating game. Speed dating. And we're going to have it for 15 minutes. So, we're all going to get up. You're going to go and look for somebody. You talk to them for three minutes. After three minutes, aha. Uh -huh. After three minutes, what is it? We ring the bell. You go and meet somebody else. After three minutes, you go and meet somebody else. 
We do it five times. We change five times. So, are you ready? Uh, be ready. Are you ready? All right, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, 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 get up. Get up. Get up. Move out of the aisle. Ladies, hold your bags, please. Yes, ladies, hold your bags, please. Move out of the aisle. Move out of the aisle. Move out into the aisle, rather. Move out into the aisle. Ten. Nine. Eight. So, uh, timer, please, at three minutes. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Hold your phones. Everything. DJ. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go ahead. Three minutes. Go find somebody to talk to. DJ. It's guy to girl. Guy to girl. Guy to girl. Guy to girl. Listen, DJ. step out of your seat. You can't Get be up. sitting. You are not a tree. Come You're out. Not a tree. Come, out. come out of your seats. Yeah. Don't be shy. Everybody must be standing up right Stand now. Stand up. Somebody, you can't be somebody. in the same place. Everybody you must came be to standing mingle. up you now. Did come to it's a guy there. to girl, not girls to girls. No Give girls me three minutes. Not on girls the to girls. No man to Guys man. to girls. Casey, three minutes on the street. Girls to guys. No, no, no. Give me from the time. Sit time. All right. Okay, let's start. Let's start the three minutes from the beginning. Everybody must be standing up. All right, find somebody. You got three minutes to talk to somebody. Get out of the aisles. There's space. Meet somebody. Some people are sitting down, though. Why? Get up, move, move, move. Come out. There's space. Move, move, move. Move, move, move. Move out. Move out. Move out. Move out. Go look for somebody. Go look for somebody. Go look for somebody. Yeah, go look for somebody. If you are sitting down, bring the microphone to you. Go around, go around. If there's somebody you saw, you want to go talk. Why are you talk, sitting down? I think last Get out your seats. There's space. There's all of this space here. There's space in front here. There's space in front here. If you want to come out to the front, Come out, the the space. Space move, 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 come out to the front. Space in front. Come out to the front. Come to the front. See who finds a yeah, wife. Come, come out. Come out. Come out. Meet somebody. Come out. There's space. Can I have you move down, to the front? Move, you. move, move, move. Come this way. There's a lot of space. Because there's, like <laughs> there's like a jam in the middle here. Spread out. There's space in the front. Go find somebody. We have space in front here. If you need to move this way. <laughs> no. There are people here in front. Many 30 seconds more. There's space. There's space. Your friends that are not here, let them know we're streaming live. We're streaming live. We're streaming live. One more minute, then you change. One more minute, then you change. Wait, oh wait. That men, we need men up here. They said they're not a lot of men. Men come out to the front. Men come to the front. Come to the front. Men come to the front. They said there's not a lot of men. Come on out to the front. There are ladies up here. Men. Come on out. Come, come, come. Men, men. Men. Okay. See, the men's is here. All right. There are ladies. Ladies, come out to the front. If you have no one you're talking to, stand right here. Men, come on. Come on out. Men, we have ladies in front. Ladies, if you're not talking to anybody, Come on out, come on to the front. Come, come, come. Come to the front. If you're not talking to anyone, you need to be seen. Come out to the front. Gentlemen, there are ladies out here. Come to the front. Come on out, come on out, come on out. Ladies, there are men. 
women out here. Okay. Three All right. Minutes. Change again. Change. Meet somebody else. Meet somebody else. Meet somebody else. This is the third meeting. Meet somebody else. Make sure you're talking, uh, talking, you chatting anybody? with them. Some of them, you may take their numbers. Have a conversation. You haven't seen anybody come. Anything. If you haven't met anybody, come to me. Come to me. If you haven't met anybody, get out. You see, you haven't met anybody. Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Hold on, hold on. Man says, come out to the front. If you're a guy, come on out. We need ladies out. All right, have a conversation. Conversation. Come on, come on. Okay, okay. There are men over here. Ladies over here. Come on this way. Come, 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 come. There are ladies over here. Sir, have you met anybody? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All righty, all righty, all righty. Are you talking to anybody? Who are you looking? Who are you looking? Hold on, I got you. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, talk to somebody, all right, cool. All right, listen. Men, come out, don't be standing in the middle. You got two minutes, come out, come out, come out. Sir, why are you sitting now? You have to meet multiple people. Go switch, switch, come out, come out, come out. Have you met somebody? You meet, meet, meet somebody else, meet somebody else, meet somebody else. Have a conversation. Talk, 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 talk. You got one minute, 40 seconds. Have you met somebody? Oh, you're in media? No, no, come, come, come. Have a conversation, have a conversation. Have a conversation. If you haven't met anybody, it's multiple, you can't be seated. We got, ah, ah. What's happening here? Why are ladies sitting down? Men, why are ladies sitting down? You don't meet nobody. You don't meet anybody. Oh my God. Get off the phone. Get off the phone. Have a conversation. Have a conversation. 48 seconds. Find somebody. Find somebody to talk to. I'm not your regular. I know they say I speculate. They go good with temper. You know, be number one, they always carry fast. So, no need to shiver. When my time come, everyone will believe me. Oh, 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 all righty, all righty. Oh, when I begin my run, he go be like, say, I did on steroids. Elijah level. This is my normal level. All right, all right. Keep moving, keep moving. Some people are sitting down. Switch. Ma'am, have you spoken to anybody? Uh uh. You spoke to nobody? Last Find three minutes. Else. Switch. The last three else. minutes. The last else. three minutes. The last three minutes. The last three minutes. The last three minutes. The last three minutes. Have a conversation. The last three minutes. The last three minutes. Have you talked to anybody? The last three minutes. You talk to somebody? Find somebody. Why are you say? How you say? Oh. I know you. I know you. Okay. All right. Have a conversation. Have you met anybody? No, I can't. Yeah, yeah 22 here. years. <laughs> I got two men. Hold on. All righty, all righty. I got two men with me right here. Hold on. Two minutes more. Two minutes more. Two minutes more. Have a conversation. Have, have a conversation. Have a conversation. Two minutes more. 
Tell him something about yourself. Two minutes yourself. more. Two minutes Find more. Find somebody to talk to. One more minute, one more minute, one more minute, one more minute. Thirty more seconds. Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Thirty more seconds, wrap it up. Find a place to sit. And if you like the person you were talking to, you can just sit with them. All right, time up. Wow. That was a lot of fun. So, if you like the person you are talking to, just sit down with them. I mean, just sit down where you are with them. Are you here? Just sit down with the person. Uh -huh. I can see some people changing location. Like God told Abraham, leave your father's house. To a land that I will show you. God has shown some people land here. All right. If you, if you want to con continue the conversation, continue with the person you are sitting with. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we worship you. By the way, um, we have a raffle draw at the end of this. We need your name, telephone number, and email. Please put it on this and give it to the ushers immediately. Your name, your name, your telephone number, and email. Please put it here immediately. There's a raffle draw at the end of this. Um, Can I have three guys? You met somebody interesting. And three girls. You met somebody interesting. Quickly come out. Quickly, quickly. Oh, you met somebody interesting. Are you coming out? All right. You met somebody interesting. All right. You met somebody interesting. Ah. Uh. You met somebody interesting. Uh, you both of you met. Okay. All right. Come, 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 come. All right. Are you are you here? All right. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Yeah. Tell me. Can I have a mic? Can I have a mic? Where's the mic? Can we get a mic, please? Can we get a mic? Uh, 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 if you if fought, I, the person you met, bring them out too. Don't right. stand by yourself. Talk to us. Go and bring the person okay. that you met. That was talk to us. Talk to us. In fact, I like these people already. The people who brought okay. people already. You understand? Is this, this is serious business. All right, tell us. Okay, um, Louder. Okay, uh, so I met this beautiful lady out there. What's her name? Oh, her name is Ife Oluwa. <laughs> Ife Oluwa, yes. That's God's love. What does she do? Uh, 
Sir, have you have you paid bride price? Put your hand down. Sir. Very. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so I said uh, she's actually a core member in Lagos here, yeah, serving in Lagos. She's what? A core member. In service. service okay. Yes. And no, like, what was interesting? Wow, our energy is contagious. I met her out there. We danced for like 20 to 30 minutes. And uh -huh. was... oh, you danced outside yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, actually. Okay, fantastic. Is this your first time in Singles Fellowship? Is this your first time in sing? Ah, okay, now. Sorry? Yes. First time? Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay, so, like you said, we met outside. Um, <laughs> I didn't plan to dance. I just came, like, okay, to have fun. But, <laughs> okay, they actually set us up. <laughs> it was dancing, and I was just by myself. But they were like, ah, ah, that guy can't dance as much as you can dance. So, go and show him your skills. So, I just went there, and we started dancing. I was like, wow. Really? So, he just told me now that he's a legal practitioner, and I'm like, ah, ah, wow, how did you put the two together? Are you legal too? No, I'm not a legal practitioner. Like, as a lawyer, I don't think, like, lawyers don't most likely have social life. Oh, Going okay. Going to dance like that. All right, you people, too many people. Mm, I will take a few people. People who came out first, uh -huh. go ahead. All right, um, good evening, church. Yeah, my name is Iman, so I met this beautiful ah. lady. Her name is... Hold on, please. Wait, yeah. now. Her name please. is... Her name is Blessing. So when those guys were busy shooting their own shots here, I was at that angle, trying to pull my own string too, because I saw that she was so, so lively. So when you were speaking, I was like, hmm, my pastor said something yesterday in church. That is Pastor Jimmy. So he said that your wife comes first before your mother. So I told her that if she is willing to be the first in my life... And that was the line. So being a good student of Pastor Jimmy, so I had to just use that line and I almost had to recite Psalm 23 for her. That if she's going to be... Okay, okay, okay. I, I can't take everybody oh, because of time. All right. Okay, I love his manner of approach. Oh, she. Um, he talks politely and he's truthful. <laughs> Politely and truthful. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Go. Oh, okay. So I, I was walking towards my friend because I didn't want to talk to nobody. And then I saw her, the friend was saying she should meet someone. Then Daniel right behind her. And then I was like, oh, okay. So first thing that struck me was hospitality. Every man wants a home. is not a building, it's a person. So I saw that. For me, confidence. Confidence. Right? So, because I like a man that is coming in for what he wants. Right? Okay. And then, I don't know, there's just a chemistry. So, maybe... Ah! <laughs> chemistry! Physics! <laughs> mm, I will just stop at physics. Where, where is the best? Where, where I, is I don't know where that's uh, uh, Wait, sir, wait, sir, wait, sir. Grace, Grace. Walter. What's the name? What's the person? I met Walter. Walter, Walter! 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 I actually met three people, but I met Walter! Me Where's Walter? Walter, come out come now! now. <laughs> uh -uh. Run, 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 run! Sorry, while Walter is coming. Oh, yeah, while Walter is coming. Can Walter, come and stand. Quick, 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 cut the time. Ah, uh ah, -uh. Yeah, uh, actually, I met her outside while I was coming inside. I was like, who is this amazing lady? Like, the way she was walking, like, so majestically. So like, majestically. Courage. You don't, you don't want to know, like, she was actually going for probably, uh, like, for an interview or something. She has this boldness, like a boss lady, the way they walk. Boss lady. So, yeah, she was actually working with someone, but I don't know, maybe the person doesn't want someone, but somebody to talk to her. But... What, what? So, you have. No, 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 no. Ah. I wouldn't let her go now. You won't let her go. <laughs> I won't let her go. Oh. I actually got her number. You got her number. He won't. <laughs> Ma. All right. <laughs> I was actually standing when he asked us to meet people. I was standing at my seat and he came to meet me and he said he saw me outside. I was like, okay, fine. And he said, you know how guys can be? I saw you with someone. I said, okay, this one is not lying. Yes, my friend. So that was how he got my number. 
So you've you've gone through Genesis, Exodus, but you found the number. Got the number. Walter, we stop here. Okay. Uh, Hi, I met Walter. Uh, he told me sir, that he's a consultant. Quick, quick, quick. We have but to what struck me? I met three people actually. I met Walter. I met James. I met Angelo. But what has struck me? Okay, has come, come, come. Wait, wait, wait. Come, Pastor come. James, giving come, you come, grace. Come, come, stand, stand. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah, what has struck me as they a came calm outside. person? Stand. A what? A calm person. And I invited him to singles fellowship. He hasn't come before. Oh, oh. really? Okay, okay. Um, Victoria, uh, actually, like our confidence. Uh, oh. The eye contact was kind of special. Oh. Uh, yes, yes. She's a writer. And she says she writes different kind of books, and that that struck me. It was kind of interesting about her, uh, so I loved that about her. Did you collect the number? Mm. Yes, I did. <laughs> quick, 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 quick! I'm Dominic. I actually like. I can't hear. I'm Dominic. Dominic. Mm -hmm. I actually like uh, her confidence <laughs> because of um, she's nice. Um, I like confidence. Like you like her confidence. Okay, what do you speechless. like? He's speechless. He's speechless. <laughs> I'm Falakemi. I actually met Dominic. I met three guys, but out of the three of them, it was one that asked for my number, asked me what I'm doing, and why I'm not at work presently. Ah. And he told me how good looking I was. Oh. Oh. Come on. Yeah, my name is Douglas. Uh, I met uh, Mutaro Turayo. She was sitting down there. She's an HR officer, actually. I met her there. She was sitting down very calmly. And I like the way she composed herself. So I went to meet her to tell her I like her. And I asked her her number. She actually gave it to me. And I gave her my number also. So nice to meet you again, Mutarayo. Okay, so um, I met Tife, I, I, was, uh, I was outside when they asked people to come out, but immediately I came outside. The first person I saw was her. She was smiling, and um, I like her 32 teeth, and she also has dimples, so that drew me to her. And uh, Tife is from Ogun State. She's a digital strategist, and I told her that I did love her to help me strategize my life. So. I mean, of course, I exchanged number with her. I won't let her go. I'm holding on to her. I won't let you go. And her hand is soft also. Her hand is soft. Yeah, very soft. <laughs> oh, yeah, tell, tell us, tell us. Okay, so Brother I like his composure, and he had a good vibe. Brother, we were able to connect the first time we met, so Brother, that's what I like. And he had a good smile also. <laughs> so that's what I like about him. Yeah, um, when um, Pastor said we should get someone, I don't want to do that. So I went to the toilet. <laughs> so when I came back, there was still time counting. So I met Vera first. She's a Hollywood actor, actress, sorry. Then I was like, there's nothing, just go. And I said, okay, I just want to meet someone that something will connect. So I met Tolu. And she was like, Pastor Tolu, uh, a big fan of her. So I just directed that. And she's in 500 level last year. Engineer, um, transport, yeah, I'm into chemical science, and we met, and it's nice meeting that dog. All right. Speak. Um, I don't have much to say. It just seems like a nice guy. He met me. I didn't even know he was still following me, and I went back to my seat, but then he came out to call me. He followed you? Yes. Uh -uh. And you are not Jesus, so He followed you. Fantastic. You need to know. Let's put our hands together for all these people and for everybody who met. One person or the Let's put our hands together for them. You may please go back to your seats. You know, it's 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 so amazing. It's so interesting. You can change seats now. Yeah. Just sit back if you can. All the seat. people who collected numbers. Just you can decide. This to... time next year, I'm waiting for testimonies. Amen. That we met a singles fellowship. I went for a meeting one night, and my heart. So the life, something, someone's got a hold, someone got a hold, someone's got a hold of me. You know, let me tell you, 
It happens in singles fellowship all the time. Let me just do, we're doing, going to something, the last thing now. But if you met in singles fellowship, are you married in singles fellowship? Just raise up your hand if you're here. You married in singles fellowship. Raise up your hand. I can see people there. I can see, you know, a few people. Can you see? Singles fellowship. Singles fellowship there. Singles fellowship. Singles fellowship there. If you are dating, singles fellowship. Aye. So, by the grace of God, like I said, if you came in late, the singles fellowship holds in this church every Monday, 6 to 8 p.m. And what do we do? We learn how to live a maximized single life and how to prepare for a marriage that is heaven on earth. You, you need to come. I mean, it's, I mean, it's practical things that... Currently, we're talking about the law of attraction. It's amazing. You don't want to miss it. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to do some questions and answers. I know we all have questions here. Uh, Brother Biodun, you will help me pick the people uh, for the questions. Um, let's, let's go upstage, Pastor Tulu. Let's go upstage. Let's go upstage. Because we know we always have questions. We just take that for about 20 minutes uh, before we close. Are we... Ma'am, go ahead. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Oh, you? Oh, thank you. Thank you. You want to work? All right. So, if you have questions, just raise your hand, and uh, Brother Biodun will pick you, bring you out here. And if you're, if you're shy and you don't want to, you can write it down and pass it. And we want to say a big shout out to our online community. There are people online watching right now. Thank you for being part of us. And if you have a question, you can put it online. Let's see if you can get one yeah. or two from the online community as well. So the first question here this evening says, um, I'm 29 years old. Uh, I'm a 29 year old lady. I'm dating a 35 year old guy. We've been together for four years and he hasn't proposed officially. I wish to get married by 30. What should I do? She's 29 and he's 34. He's 35. 35, and they've been dating for... Four years. When she I, says dating, like what? In a relationship? Yeah, in a relationship. Well, and he hasn't really said, I'm going to marry you, I want to marry you. And I want to get married by the time I'm 30. What should I do? Ha. Ah. Do, do you want to take it? you want me to take it? Me, I don't talk too much. I think he's wasting your time. I mean, he's a 35-year-old man. If he doesn't know where he's going, then please do not follow him. If by now, he's known you for four years, I hope he's not using you for practice, for his real wife. So, have that conversation. But you know, sometimes when you have those kind of conversations, I think what the danger is, is that they might then say, okay, let's get married. And that's a danger because he might not want to marry you, but he doesn't want to lose you, he wants to keep you, and then, you know, so personally, I'll just say break it up. If we pay you, you may not die. You'll be okay. And your own husband will find you in Jesus' name. That's my advice. Do we have any question? Yeah. Um, I can, okay, but I can see from here. Yeah. There's a lady there. Let's, let somebody run with the Madami, please. Yeah. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Um, I wanted to ask a question about um, people who are divorced and want to remarry because I have like a conflicting um, idea about it. You know, the Bible says when Jesus um, was talking to the uh, Israelites, Pharisees came and then they tried to ask a question that would put him in trouble. And he said, what does, what's his view on divorce? And he said, um, as long as you hand a note or a letter of divorce, and then you tell either from the man or the woman, and then you tell them that you are no longer interested in marriage, then you can be divorced. But that if, if any man or a woman should divorce her partner or his partner, and then remarries, they are committing adultery. So, <clears throat> 
I'm a divorced person, so I'm like, God, I want to do God's will, but what is, what is it after that? Am I going to be committing adultery? And the reasons for the divorce were valid, but then does that matter? All right, does that we, count? We get that question. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take four sets of questions so that we're not, um, because of time, there's, there's, a hand, there's a hand there, yeah. Yeah. Please, let's make the questions as short as possible. Good evening, church. Yeah, um, my question is quite straightforward. Um, when you're dating someone, say you've been dating eight months or a year as a guy, um, what cue do you need to actually, um, you know, Go forward and what? E and what? What? Q. Clue. Q. Q. C U E. Do you need? Do, before to, you, when you say go forward, what do you mean? Like propose? Yes. Propose. Yeah. What Q do you need? Yes, because that is one of the problems a lot of guys face. So they're waiting, they're doubting. I mean. All right. What Q do you need? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um. There's a, where, where's that? All right, there's someone here. Okay, there's a lady over here. And there's a lady over here. So I'll take two more questions. Where's, stand up, viewers, yeah, so you can get the mic. One in front, yeah. Um, hi. So I was having a conversation with my friend, and he mentioned something about masculine energy, feminine energy. And being about, someone- About, sorry? Masculine energy. Feminine, oh, feminine energy, energy, yeah. So, um, using me as a point of reference, I grew up as an independent woman, quote, um, and the way I grew up, being seeing my mother as a single mother, yeah. I've been able to handle things myself without having anybody or wanting to, and even if being in a relationship or, you know, talking to someone, I never really want to, you know, ask for things, or just, I just want to do things myself. So it was pointing that out to me as being masculine energy, and it can drive or scare men away. So my question now is, how do I, as a woman, without really kind of lower, um, lowering my standards, you know, deal with masculine energy? All right, the, the last question, that's, that's a, good a good question. It's a good question. Dami here. There's, there's, oh, okay, so there's someone standing in the back. Maybe we'll come back to... Yeah, go ahead, Ask. We'll do four. We'll, we'll do another set. Okay. Um, so, sir, okay. So, I need... Um, there's this conflicting and contrasting opinion or perception when it comes to settling down. Okay. So, so it goes like this. I really need to know what the true position is when it comes to... Okay, now, you hear a guy who wants to settle down and uh, you probably write like five names of ladies. He has five names. Yes, I'm just giving an illustration. Yeah. You know, like it boils down to this issue of the will of God in quotes. You write like five names of ladies and you're going to give to your pastor for, for spiritual guidance as to who you should marry. You should marry. And you as a guy, as a person, let's be very frank with ourselves. We know deep down the person we want to marry. But we just feel like, okay, because of this whole will of God and blah, 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 and all of that, you want to confirm. Then at the end of the day, you find out that maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe when your person says, okay, gets back to you, he has played, and he's saying the person you intend to get married to is not the will of God for you. All right, okay. And, sorry, sir. Okay. Sorry, sir. And at the end of the day, because you feel like you know that he's a genuine man of God, you choose to follow you know, marry the other person and at the end of the day, it doesn't turn out well. That's on one hand. The second leg of it is, you find people who don't even do this will of God thing. They just date someone, they just marry and the whole thing is going on well. So I really want to know, is it that I need a proper understanding of that? Is it that I don't, I just want some sort of concrete clarification when it comes All right. to that? Th thank you. Thank you very much. So the questions here, one is the issue about divorce, divorce. Mm -hmm. and what, um, what is the position, uh, especially when the Bible talks about adultery and all that. Did I get that question right? Yes. The second question is that what is the cue uh, for you to propose? You've been with this lady for a while and he says, 
this is the cue for me to propose. Number three is the issue of masculine energy coming from a lady saying that she grew up with her mother doing everything and she thinks she needs to tone it down a bit. And the other one is, what is this issue about the will of God? Um, um, should you, you're, you're thinking about five ladies and at the end of the day, you think, oh, you meet your pastor and your pastor says, it's this one, it doesn't work out. And some people who don't even follow the will of God, those things work. What exactly uh, should we be looking at? So how do, do we... Do you want to start? Do you, which, do you want, is there one you particularly want to answer? One. Anyone? Okay, go around. Go ahead with masculine energy. Oh, I want to answer the masculine feminine energy. So I think I resonate with you because I'm the first child of my parents. I'm very driven. I like to handle my own business. But one thing I've learned in life is that men want to be needed and wanted. Yep. So even if you can do it yourself, the wisdom, when you find a man that you believe that God says is your man, you need to make him feel like you need him because if a man doesn't feel needed he will go where he feels needed yep um and your masculine energy quote on unquote is not masculine energy you are a helper a helper needs to be able to bring something like pj said you are bringing something to the table you're working hard making money so you can support your husband when you get there so it's not a bad thing it's a great thing it's a fantastic thing to have but as a wife your husband must be needed, he must feel needed. And I learned the hard way, ask him, always ask. I always feel like, oh, no, I'm not gonna ask, I can handle it, no, 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 ask. You know, and I think that's the, um, what word can I use? Um, it's not humbling, but it is humbling. Because you can do it yourself, it doesn't mean you have to, you're a woman, you don't have to. We were not made to carry things on our shoulder. We're made to have a man to do it for us. So let your man be your man. You be the woman, and the Lord will help you. Praise the Lord. Can, I, know, can I? Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. Uh, just, just to add to that, it's important, especially when you are um, a very independent woman, that whoever you are dealing with must be somebody that you can respect. You have to be able to respect him because when you find a man worthy of your respect and you allow him to be the man, automatically you, you will fall into your feminine side. He brings it out of you. So somebody who is not a pushover, somebody who you can't dominate, somebody that just his very presence makes you adjust. <laughs> Do you see what I'm trying to say? So that's very key because then everything else will flow organically. And like Pastor Tolu said, a man always wants to be needed. So, yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. I don't need to add to that. I don't need to add to that anymore. Now, if I take the question on this issue about the will of God. Okay. One of the things we need to realize is that when we come to Christianity, there's a person of Jesus and there's the principles of Jesus. In marriage, there are principles. In life, generally, there are principles. The Bible says, seest thou a man diligent in his way. It is, it didn't say, seest thou a born-again Christian yeah. diligent in his way. If you get a born-again guy, who is not diligent, he's going to mess up. He's going to be a failure. He will fail. Mm -hmm. Do you understand my point? Now, there are principles in the scriptures. And these principles, anybody can apply some of those, a number of those principles. So, you know, yesterday, um, while Pastor Jay was ministering, I, I, I got to a point and Holy Spirit whispered something to me. I told my wife. I said, marriage is easy if you follow the instructions. Mm -hmm. So the thing, though, is that are you following the instructions? And I want, to, I want to appeal to you. Your pastor is not going to live with you nope. in the house with the person you are getting married to. Yep. Your pastor is not going to live with you. So your pastor is a believer. You are a believer. You can hear, the pastor can hear from the Holy Spirit. You can hear from the Holy Spirit. You are the one who is having a relationship with the person. Yep. But you know, sometimes the way we elevate man of God. Do you understand my point? You know, so it's important that you too can hear from God. You are the one who is going to have the relationship with the person. You know, so let's, let's, let's put some of these things behind us. And one of the things I also want to address is that I, I, when counseling, people say a lot of uh, uh, prophecy that um, we see 
uh, you go to a pastor and the pastor says, uh, we saw this and all that. I'll tell you a story. Um, this guy says that um, he's going to get married to this girl. And, I mean, everybody was happy about him. Everybody was happy. In fact, the pastor said, this is the guy. This is the guy. This is the guy. So, the girl now told them, well, you know, he has four, other, four children, no? Immediately they heard that. They said, ah, it can't be him. It's not the guy. So please, it's just, it's just so important that we follow those principles. Does and that that's help? why when you come to Singles Fellowship, these are the things we teach you, you know, every Monday. Praise the Lord. Um, you good? And, and one of the things, just to add to that, marriages aren't made in heaven. Marriages are made on earth. Correct. Uh-huh. So, God won't choose the person for you. You will choose the person for yourself. And like Pastor Kumi said, same spirit. So, hopefully, that helps. Um, there's another question of how do you know the divorce? Um, it's very simple. I mean, no one goes into marriage, uh, especially if you're a believer, hoping for, for a divorce. Now, sometimes things happen um, um, where two people decide that, they no longer um, want to stay married. But what is important is you are divorced according to um, the laws of the land. It's very important. A lot of things that we read in Scripture applied not only to their principles, like Pastor Conley said, but also the cultural context and the culture in which they existed. And so when you come into culture and legality as far as where you live and the laws that govern the land, there is a process if you say that you are separating or divorce that the both parties must follow if both of you are legally divorced um, as far as the laws of the land um, for whatever reasons are then you are now within um, your right as an individual to remarry Um, god doesn't want anybody in bondage living in bondage is not god's will (laughs) it's a nollywood film it's not what god will (laughs) amen uh, and so if both parties have decided that they are going separate and they have gone the things, done it the right way, I, I honestly believe you are well within your rights to marry again. Paul says it's better you marry than burn. Amen? Because if you're not going to be playing a real match, there'll be there's people that say, don't marry. If I say, you see her, you see him. So um, if you're legally divorced, please don't let that stop you. You can marry again and... Uh, as long as you're within the laws of the land. Fantastic. And just to add to that, please, because I know quite a a number of people, you judge people. We shouldn't. Because you were not in the marriage with them. Yeah. You don't know the things people have gone through. I mean, you don't know the heartache that some people go through. And we get to a point where, you know, sometimes it's better to live that for your peace of mind, for your sanity. And sometimes God gives us a second chance. And when that happens, you go back and say, what are the mistakes I made? What what, What happened? And when you have learned, then you can move forward. But don't put, like Pastor Jay said, don't put yourself in bondage. Praise the Lord. The last question was, uh, is how do you know the cues to propose? How do you know the cues to propose? So the quest question is, as a man, What do you want? First of all, are you ready to be proposing in the first place? Let's start there first. Because if you are ready, a lot of times when it comes to speaking about our significant others, we're very quick to write down the list of what we're looking for. I bet you everybody here has a list of what they're looking for. Yes? If I say everybody pull out a pen and paper and write. Now, here's the kicker. When you write that list down, And let's imagine that person you have written down comes out of that list. The question is, will they date you as you are? Because if you are going to write a list of what you are looking for, you must meet the criteria. If that person came today, are you that person that the person you have written down will want to date? Because a lot of time we spend our time looking out externally what we are looking for. Are we working on ourselves to become the person that we are writing down. Now, if you are ready to get married, mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, all the alleys, right? You have to know what you are looking for. 
Once you see, listen, when you see what you're looking for, you will know. No one has to tell you. There, there's no, if you are looking for a cue, then that person is not the person. Because once you see it, you know it. What are you looking for in a partner? Okay? What, what is her worldview? What are the things that are important to you? What are the things that you want when you see your life partner, the kind of woman you want to be the mother of your children? What are the things that you are looking for? You have to, if you do not know yourself, you can't answer that question. So once you know yourself and you know what you like, you know who you are, you know where you are going, it's very easy to find somebody to walk alongside you, right? So if you are still looking for cues after eight months, sir, be like, say, she's not it. Amen? And you see, you, you will know these cues. You will know. I remember when I was date, when I, my wife and I were, you know, dating and all that, when I asked her out and said I wanted to, she said, let me, let me think about it. I said, Rolungpa, Oma, so yes. <laughs> I, she knows. She told me two weeks after, okay, come to my house. My, let me tell you. I took a bottle of non-alcoholic wine to go and celebrate with her in her house already. She said, Emma Wobo, boy, he's, he's so he's so proud. You understand? Because I knew she was going to say yes. Do you understand? So you will know. Now, we have a number of questions Ooh, here, questions which, which <laughs> I'll just take two more questions. But one of the things we will do, Pastor Jay, if you can, and Pastor Tolu, let's do a remix next week. If we can do a remix, I don't know, uh, where we take uh, more of questions and answers. Because we know, honestly, the challenge we always have is this. There are many, many questions. Mm. But... We'll let you know. And one of the things where I, I just asked Pastor Tolu now is maybe once a month uh, for a few months, we'll do this question and answer together, you understand, so that we can sort out issues. And before you come, we can even send out, if you drop your emails, we can send out some Google Forms to you so that you can f send your questions and, you know, we can have them already before you come. So let me just take two more questions, then we close. Um, how do you conduct yourself as a mature single when your body starts responding to sexual urges? Keep it real. Yeah, it was keeping real. Oh, what do you do? Oh, I thought, I thought we were taking multiple questions. Me, did I can answer, answer that one. Yeah. You see, there are certain atmospheres that some spirits cannot enter. Uh, it happens. This is not a, this is a real life thing. You first put on worship. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, I'm not joking. You first charge the atmosphere. You know, when you're thinking about the Holy Ghost, some things will give you. Then, you must be accountable to somebody. Not a man, if you're a woman. <laughs> Sister, if you're a woman, don't be accountable to a man. You can't call a man and say, my body's doing GGs. He will answer you. <laughs> yeah. There must be a woman, you know, somebody you can speak to, say, yo, that means this man has to come. Do you know what I'm saying? Because, see, evil thrives in darkness. If you are keeping it to yourself, your mind, you start doing other things. So speak to somebody that you can trust and you can, you know, pray together. Take shower. Shower is good. Shower. Go shower. Go shower. In fact, you can even run. See, your heart, run around. Run. Exercise. And pray and speak to the Holy You see, the Holy Ghost understands these things. Sex was made by God. It wasn't made by the devil. Let's be clear. Sex is of God, not the devil. So speak to your father. Say, Father, Lord, how far? I'm, your, I'm doing my best to do it your way. Help me. Help me, Lord. And he will answer you. Amen? I hope I helped you. Can I, can, can I just add to that? Also, even in prayer, don't pray with the opposite sex. Let me, hold on. Eh? Okay. Let me help eh? you. Blood of God. You know that if you start praying with somebody that is not your spouse, yeah. that is a man or a woman, you are bonding spiritually. No. You know when you will bond physically. Ah. Wait, babe. Sister, sister. I didn't know we're just touching each other. We started for prayer. Free yes. every appearance. Because you're bonding, so you have to be careful not to be praying with somebody consistently that is not your spouse. And two, like Pastor Wu said, exercise. Listen, by the time you 
Ex you do exercise for 30 minutes, everything will leave your body. You just exercise, next thing, sleep. You just enter a shower, next thing, knock out. Do push-ups, do jumping jacks. Do By the time you do 30 minutes, everything will leave your body. And Amen. And be careful what, what you watch. watch. That's the last one too. The music. The music you listen ah. to. Because as you start to watch some things, you say, oh, I, I love chick flicks, I love this, I love oh. that. Oh, as you begin to see it, oh. I mean, those environments create <laughs> something. And this is real. Um, yeah. I'm currently in love with someone, but he's in a relationship with somebody I know. Is it okay to go after him? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, Violence. It's a, <laughs> wait, it's a female. Take it by force. <laughs> I'm in love, ma. First of all, first of all, check yourself. first of all, <laughs> check yourself, check yourself first. <laughs> the, the problem is that she believes that she's in love. What, the thing that you are feeling is not love. Lost. Because it cannot be love. Because first of all, love does not envy. Love, love does not covet. <laughs> love does not look at what is not, it's not love. It's, it's infatuation. It's lost. It's not love. So if, and here's the thing, I want to assume that this person may be, because if the person is not giving you any indication that there's an interest, then you are probably a stalker. <laughs> let's, let's, let's look at it, two sides to this. If this person does not even know you exist and is not doing anything that is giving you the idea that there is something you're probably a stalker. I actually heard online, I was reading, I heard, came across this true story of a woman who'd been married for maybe 20-something years. I think she met her husband when, she, got, she met her husband when she was 22, and they'd been married for a while. And then, I think she was 45, so maybe 20 years later, um, she happened to move to a new house, and he had a box that he kept his things in, and so she went to go check his box for something. But the problem was she found pictures of herself from when she was 18. Where she worked, who she hung out with, she didn't even know the guy existed, and she met him when he was 22, so the man had been stalking her. So found out that even the day that they met was staged. Everything was planned. Uh -huh. So if the man doesn't know you exist, then we need to pray about that. Now, if the guy is in a relationship, but is entertaining or giving you some kind of hope, ma, the same way he's doing it with the person he's in a relationship with, he will do it with you. Yes. There is nothing special about you. He's eating his cake and having it too. Yes. Stolen meat, they say, is always sweet. He's getting the benefits without the, the, the commitment of ownership. Why will he buy the cow if he can get the milk for free? There is no reason why he'll ever commit to you. He's already eating dessert on the side where he has a main course. You will never become the main course. So, I know I said a lot in a very short time. Let me help you, sister. Remove yourself. Do not, you, you are not somebody that should be kept in the shadows. And if he will do it with the person that he's with, with you, if you become the main girl, you will quickly become the one that he's cheating on with somebody else. Selah. Selah. Um, just our online audience, somebody sent this question. Is it wrong not to want to get married? That's a real question. Back it up with scriptures so I can tell my mother. <laughs> Biko. <laughs> well, well. Me, you, me, yeah. yeah. See, the truth is, hold on. Um, someone said, if the motives are wrong, nothing can be right. So you need to, and, and I can see a bit of motive in what you're saying because, so I can tell my mother, Biko. Now, Paul did not get married. But people who do not get married, the Bible talks about those who have, who have been made um, eunuchs, mm -hmm. that men make some people eunuchs. Some people decide to make themselves eunuchs. And there's a purpose for which they are not married. Now, look at yourself and be truthful to yourself. Could it be experiences you've had? One, maybe your... your the, person you've dated in the past, maybe your father, maybe your, your mother, something you've seen around you has affected your psyche because we are product of our environment. And because of that, you think you made the decision, I'm never going to get married. So 
I think you should go for counseling, first of all. Go and meet somebody and actually pour out your heart and say, this is actually the reason I, want, I don't want to get married. And if it is a true reason, if yeah. it's correct, then go ahead and not get married. But if it is something you are, you are, you, you are responding to a trauma, trauma. Yeah, trauma response. then you need to work on that trauma. Well, I think... Sorry, well, can I, can I yeah. add something to that, please? Yeah. I mean, Paul says it is best that um, if, if your body is burning, um, find somebody. But I say, that was him, you better not to marry and focus on the work of the Lord. Like Pastor Conley said, absolutely, if it's trauma-related, get counseling, find out what that reason is. But if it's actually a genuine reason why you don't want... I think that we also have to put it out in culture that... Marriage is not a prize. Marriage is not an achievement. Because society puts a lot of pressure on people to make you feel like if you are not married, you are failing in life. You are, you are past 30, and you have not married. You are 40, you have not married. It is not a thing that you must achieve. I tell singles all the time, listen, the best time, okay? Sing, enjoy your singleness. Because once you become married, your life is no longer yours. When you are single, you are your own priority and you are well within the rights to do that. You can go as you please. You don't ask anybody about anything. You can travel today. You can go tomorrow. You can spend your money anyhow. Once you marry, once you marry, you cannot just up and go. Somebody asks you, where are you going? Where are you? you have children. Auntie, uncle, are we all going together? Your money is not our money. It's not your money. It's now our money. Okay? So I know everybody wants to get married. And for some people, if you, like Pastor Gunnar said, it's genuine that there's a genuine reason why you don't want to get married, you are not a leper. It's okay. Amen? All right. It's been a wonderful evening. <laughs> Hallelujah. So what I will do next week, we'll do, um, I'll do, we'll do a remix. We'll take more questions next week before we go into, you know, and probably structure something for Pastor Jay and Pastor Tolu to come and take questions and answers uh, more uh, in the fellowship. God bless you. Uh, before we close tonight, um, Pastor Jay, just take the altar call. Then we have, we're just going to take, how many gifts do we have? We have eight gifts, ten gifts. We're going to take ten, ten names from there, and you're going to go home with the gifts. Uh, Pastor Jay, just take the altar call. Okay. Um, really quickly, um, we've had a lovely time tonight, and it's been amazing. Um, but more importantly, you know, everything when it comes to love, God is the author of love. God is the source of love. The Bible says that God is love, and love is God. And if you are ever looking to find love in life, you cannot give what you don't have. You cannot hope to give somebody love if you've not experienced love yourself. You can't hope to give somebody grace if you've not experienced grace yourself. You can't expect if someone forgiveness if you've not experienced forgiveness yourself. So anything that wants to in life that has to do with love must first start with God. And what we want to do here right now very quickly, if you are here, because time is far spent and we're about to close. If you know that you are in the building and you've never given your life to Christ and you want to experience this love that we're speaking of, we want you to come out really quickly and meet with the God of love. No one knows a creation better than the creator. Everything that you are, everything that you will be, everything you will accomplish in life starts with the one who created you. And until you meet the one that created you, you will not really know who you are and why you were put on this earth. And so, there's a God who says, I love you. I gave my life for you. I gave it all so that you may live. I set before you life and death. Choose life that you may live. So if you're here and you want to make that decision today, really quickly, grab your bags, grab your Bibles, whatever you may have, and come to the front. Let's say a quick prayer. Anybody here? Anybody wants to make that decision today? To you, Jesus, I Surrender. Don't be shy, come out to the front. Oh, to me, my blessed
come out, don't be shy. We'll wait for you. Come out to the front. To you, Jesus, I surrender. for you if you're coming to the front we'll wait for you could I just ask if you're not coming to the front just just sit for a second so we don't mistake those who are coming to the front and those who are moving please if you're not coming to the front just sit for a second and then we'll let you go right after this God bless you if there's an, anybody else needs to come to the front we'll wait for you we'll wait for you we'll wait for you Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, appreciate it, encourage them, encourage them, encourage them, encourage them, don't be shy, we'll wait for you, we'll wait for you, we'll wait for you. If you could just stretch your hands to these ones who have come. And if you still want to come, it's not too late. Please come to the front. Say a prayer over these ones. And if you're in front, just say this with me. Say, Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you that you sent your son to die on Calvary for my sins. I thank you that your blood has washed away all my sins. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. From this moment on till eternity, I live for you. Father, we thank you that according to the profession of their faith, O oh God, we seal them under the matchless blood of Jesus and we ask oh God that this marks the beginning of the best years of their lives I ask oh God they come into communication into experience you who is the God of love may they feel your love may it permeate through their souls in every way in Jesus name we have prayed amen God bless you God bless you God bless you if you just want to turn around there's a lady um, in yellow she'll take you for like five minutes get your details and let you come back fantastic thank you Amen. All right, we have 10 gifts. Pastor Jay, please pick five. Pastor Lou, please pick five. And we have gifts for you. <laughs> you were a troublesome kid. You know, so that there's no juror. Okay, hold on. I got one. I got one. Ogba, Ogaba, Ogaba. Eunice. Eunice. Eunice, Ogaba, Eunice. Is Eunice Ogaba in the building. If you're not here, we'll call somebody else. Going once. If you're here, just 10. She's here. Oh, oh. Mary Iribiri. Mary. Is that Mary? Mary. Okay, Mary's coming. Fantastic. All right, come on. Balogu Symbiat Mudupe. Balogu Symbiat Mudupe. Is Modukba in the building? Come on out, come on out, come on out. Oge. Oge. Person just was Oge, no Who's last Oge? name. Who's Oge? Really? No last name. 0806084. Is that you? Is that Oge? Is, is that Oge? Is Oge in black? Okay. Must give us a number. Yeah. All right. Shitu Deborah. Deborah Shitu. Let them line up. It's like every. Ah, all women. Wait first, let me go. Who is Deborah? She too. All right. Ah, now what's what? going on? 
Pastor Sun. Amadi temi tokwe. Amadi temi tokwe. Sorry. We, we, it's not Ojoro. We're just speaking. I don't. I'm Where is coming. Amadi temi tokwe? Amadi temi tokwe. Ah. Okay. The Amadi temi tokwe is not here. Is she here? Ah. One, two, three, four, five. Adisa Abisola. Who is Adisa Abisola? Is the person here? Adisa Abisola, is the person here? Ha! Going once. She's Where's here, she's coming. Taiwo Adedeji. Is that, is that a guy? Ha! Taiwo! Where's Taiwo? Where's Taiwo? Taiwo, you're Taiwo. Ha! Is it lots of How many more? Oh, I think I have one. One, two, three. My first guy. Five, six, seven, N eight. And Ye Kingsley. Is that a guy? Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nine. nine. So we have to one pick more. one more. One more. Pastor Dolu, pick a guy. <laughs> ah, see the ratio of women to guys. Chica. Sorry, sorry. Please, can, can you stand like this, please? So in case you didn't see them during the mingle session, stand and face the stand. Please, so one face, more step. face. Uh-huh. Turn, guy. turn. Uh-huh. Guys, let your Chica. eyes be open. Anya dufu. Anya in Chica. case you didn't see them. Anya dufu. Yeah, yeah Chica. The only man. Congratulations. Ah, wow. Please stand there. The only man. Blessed are you amongst women. So fellas, if Sorry? you see somebody here that you didn't see, well, as they are going out, mark their seats. He was okay. here, let him hear. Ten, this is, these are 10 gifts. So, Pastor Tolu, you will hand this once over. <laughs> oh. So you will know who to hand it over to. Oh. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> Can we pick like five more gifts? Let me pick like PJ, five. Let's pick you know some what? guys, man. Yes, you know what? Let me pick ten more and give everybody ten k each. So let me pick an additional ten. Boys, guys, we must be guys. We must be guys. But how will I not pick them? That's the problem. We will look. We will look for guys. Okay, gifts. we'll pick if it's a if it's a girl, we'll drop it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Tochi Ugo, is it that a guy or girl? Uh, that sounds like a guy, a girl. Is that a guy? Is that a guy? These names. Did the men write their names? <laughs> Please, who is solution? Solution! Solution! <laughs> solution, just stand there, stand there. Stand there. Stand there, solution. You'll be a solution to many problems. Please be collecting their number. Num- uh, okay, I got another one. It's a boy. Who is it's a boy? It's a boy. It's a, it's a boy. Ajayi Oluwaseyi Emeka. The God of Jackson. Oh, Lagbaju. <laughs> George Obo Iku Ori. Is that you? Fantastic. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. For La Francis Ebiefa. Francis Ebiefa. No, I said ten. How many? One, two, three, four, five. How many? Amy, oh. Progress Edward. Is that a guy? Progress Edward. Progress! You always progress in life. It's a good name. Solution Progress. Please write your name and account numbers. The ones on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many? We need three more. All all, all, all days, a babe. Who is, who is Ololade? Ah, the girl is not even here. 
Who is your lady? Okay, I the one. Okay, you. Uh, you wrote your name, just the first name, Ololade. No, the same person only wrote Ololade. No last name. How many guys do we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, we'll two, pick three, Emmanuel Chuku Chuku Wuma Chuku Chuku Wuma Chuku Wuma. Emmanuel Chuku Wuma. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to disrespect your last name. It was not intentional. Chukuma, did I get that right? How many, how many do we have? How many? How many? Okay, we'll pick one woman. And the last one, because there's one man over here. We'll pick one woman. Let's balance it. Mayowa is just one name. Mayo. Oh, that's a guy. Yeah, is it just you? Just what's your name? Mayowa. Fantastic. All right, one more. Who, who's in your hand? Is that a girl? Adewoye, Owoni, Adewoye, Ade. Is that you? Are you, you, you? You don't sound like you're sure. Oh, it's oh nine. Four seven zero. You should call it. Ah. Is that him over there? All right. That's him over there. Who? Was that you? All right, come through. Come through. What's come your through. name? Owoni. Oh, yes. Yes, that's, is that it? Yes. All right. Oh, nine. And Shikemi, who is Shikemi? Shikemi Adeniko. All right. All right. There you go. So, we hand over the gifts. Those yeah, those are account numbers. Then, Pastor Zulu, we give these gifts out. <laughs> we didn't even do best dress. Ah, best dress. Ooh. Ah, time. 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 We'll do it next week. Yeah, next week. <laughs> Why are you hiding? So these 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 are jewelry pieces. Wait for One of my are favorite you looking brand jewelry? Cornucopia. <laughs> you looking through here as well. That's it. Let me just join. Well, that was money. That was money. That was this money. Is Did you All right, cool. Can you write your names down? Account number. Name, account number. If there's no account number. All right. Brother Beard. All right. Thank you, everybody. It's been a great evening. It's been a great evening. Usually, it's not this long, but because it's a special program. I want you to get up and wish your neighbor a happy Valentine. Tell them it's going to be a beautiful Valentine. And because you don't have a vow, doesn't mean you should be cranky. I can tell you, you can go home with a vow here tonight. So make sure, happy Valentine. See you on Monday, Monday the 19th of February. At 6 p.m., I can guarantee you it's 6 to 8, and it's going to be a lovely time. We're going to continue with the question and answers. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and bide with us now and forevermore. Amen. We have buses. We have buses. The buses are free. We have buses outside. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Forever and ever, amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. And so sin shall not have dominion over us. For the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us, quickens our mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Amen. We have buses to K2, Egbeda, Yanopaja, Abuli Egba, Ikeja, Ogba, Oju, Elegba. Thank you for coming. See you next week. Our Father. Waiting for heaven, nobody fit can let the chair when you sit down. Okay.
uh, see me immediately. If your phone is missing, see me immediately. All of them are water, and I don't deny. Cause my father is bigger than Odo. Every Odo, every Odo. Odo, every Odo. Odo, Odo. Because my father is bigger than Odo. Every Odo, 